When a lot of students say American accent, they talk as if there is only one American accent, but in reality, there are many, many accents in America. There are many different states. There are many different ethnicities. There are different social classes. And all these things change the way people speak. So today we are going to just have a look at a very small amount of accents because there are so many, but we'll have a look at a few and we'll see if I, a British guy, can understand them. And for this whole video, there are subtitles that you can use. What might be fun for you to try is try turning off the subtitles before I play the video, see how much you can understand, and then maybe you can reverse it and watch it again with the subtitles. The first one we're going to have a look at is a very famous accent. That is the Alabama accent. So in the southern states of the USA, a lot of people often talk about the southern accent, but even within the southern accent, there are many different accents. So Alabama is quite a famous southern accent. If you've seen any movies like Forrest Gump, you'll have heard uh, this accent before. But let's take a look and let's see if I can understand it. I was riding along this morning, minding my own business in my little truck with my windows rolled down. And I stopped at a red light and a big truck pulled up behind me, an 18-wheeler with two men inside. And as soon as the light turned green, they went to blowing their horn at me about three times. Okay, so yeah, she has quite a strong accent, but it's pretty easy for me to understand. She's just saying she was waiting at a traffic light and some guys pulled up behind her, uh, behind her and were beeping on the horn. They beeped three times. Then they flew up beside me and started cussing and screaming and hollering, telling me to pull over. Well, I don't think you want me to pull over just because I sat at a red light for half a second after it turned green. Okay, so very American showing off her gun there. Um, so yeah, she had, like I said, she's got this Alabama accent. It's quite strong. There are stronger uh, Southern accents, but yeah, it's quite easy for me. Well, it's very easy for me to understand everything she's saying. Um, she, yeah, like I said, the, some guys pulled up behind her. They were beeping at her and um, yeah, she said, well, I don't think they should do that because I've got my gun. Um, there's a lot of features here that you hear a lot in the Southern, uh, in the Southern states of America. So there are differences within these southern states, but um, a lot of them have this same feature of kind of drawing sounds out. They're a little bit longer and slower than some other accents. You know, so she said something like, I was driving along, minding my own business. You see, it all kind of drags out like this. Um, and also she puts in a little aspiration, like sound that you don't hear in some other accent. Like she said, well, well. And she puts in this, ha, huh. well, I would just say, well, you see, but she says, well, yeah. So it's a, uh, it's a nice accent. It's got a nice sound to it. Uh, funny clip, very American girl here. Okay. Next up, we've got a New York accent. And I wanted to put this one in because a lot of people probably think, well, oh, New York, that's a standard American accent. But like I tried to say at the beginning, there are many different accents. Even within New York, there are many different ways of speaking. Um, and first, we're going to have a look at a very typical New York accent. Um, basically, a lot of older white people in New York, they sound like this. Uh, I walk and I talk and I live in New York and I drink water with my coffee. I told my daughter, don't feed the dog coffee, but she does the exact opposite. She feeds the dog coffee and now I have a dead dog a dumb daughter and no coffee. I, I don't know why he wanted me to read this. I don't get it. All right. Okay, so yeah, this is, uh, it says like the name of this video is Dad with the Strongest New York Accent. So the son has written down some things he wants him to read. And the son on purpose has chosen words that sound very strong in a New York accent. So especially this kind of um, older generation, they have this, um, I've heard someone talk about this before, they call it the thought vowel, because when they say the word thought, like I thought, people with this very strong New York accent, they say, I thought, I thought. Um, yeah, and when they say things like, uh, he was saying talk and walk, it's got this ooh kind of sound to it. 
Um, so you hear that quite a lot with New York, this New York accent, you hear this quite a lot. And same with the word like coffee, coffee. I can't quite do it as well as him, obviously. He's a native New Yorker. Um, but yeah, this is uh, quite a quintessential, quite a typical uh, New York accent. But as I said earlier, people's ethnicity or people's background can also really change their accent. So that accent that we were just listening to before was uh, an older white guy. And next up, we're going to listen to what uh, an African-American in Brooklyn in New York might sound like. These young brothers, like, change their ways, you know? Like, back in the days, we had respect for one another, you know what I mean? Right. Like, now, these young cats, these young cats ain't got respect for each other, you know what I mean? They don't every, respect nothing. Everything, everything gotta be shoot them up, kill, kill, you know what I mean? Back in the days, we used to knuckle up. All right, you know yep. what I'm you lose, you lose. You go home, go get your crew, we come back and fight again, you know what I mean? But now it's like, brothers just want to shoot everything, you know what I mean? That, that, that got to change. Okay, so this guy, yeah, um, still very easy for me to understand all of these, no problem, but I am a native English speaker. Um, yeah, he's just saying um, before in the past, uh, him and um, his like friends or perhaps his gang um, when they had trouble with other people, they used to, he said, knuckle up, which uh, means basically these are your knuckles. So he means we would fight with our fists, we would fight with our hands. But he said these days, a lot of brothers, and when he says brothers, he means uh, young, well, like other black guys, but he's talking about young black guys. He's saying these days in his neighborhood, uh, they're shooting each other. There's a lot of like gang violence. Um, but yeah, with his accent, um, you might have heard the word ain't. And ain't is something that you hear in a lot of uh, native accents. So it could be even in the UK where I'm from, um, in all different parts of the United States, in Australia, New Zealand, a lot of native speakers use this word ain't. So instead of saying um, isn't or aren't or am not, so I am not will be I ain't. You are not will be you ain't. Um, so a lot of people use this. Even my family, they all use this. My mom, my dad, everyone uses this. Um, there are a lot of features of accents that you'll find in, you know, the UK and you'll find the same thing in America or Australia. But it might just sound a little bit different. Like the accent or the pronunciation is a little bit different. But like this guy, he kept saying, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Which is saying like, do you know what I mean? Um, and my mum says that a lot, but she says it in a more of a London accent. My mum comes from London and she says, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? This guy says, do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like the intonation is a bit different, but a lot of the words and things people use uh, can be similar. But the kind of accent and the way people use intonation and words lets you know where someone comes from, and what kind of background they come from. So yeah, there's a, in, another interesting accent here from New York. So like I said, even within New York, there are many. This is just two. I'll stop there for New York. We'll have a look at some other places. But even within New York, there are many, many different ways of speaking. And next up, I'm going to show you a Boston accent. This is actually an accent that I really like myself. It's a very, I don't know, charming accent. It's got a very nice sound to it. And this video was quite a famous video on the internet of a man from Boston getting very excited when he saw a strange fish in the water. Um, and yeah, let's have a look at his reaction and try to listen to his accent. Like I said earlier, you've got the subtitles, so don't forget to use them if you need them. I don't know what this is, but Jay says it's a f***ing big sea turtle. Look, it's a baby f***ing wheel, man! Holy sh we are witnessing a baby f***ing wheel right here, dude! Okay, I'm going to need to put some bleeps in here because he's using a lot of bad words, a lot of uh, curse words, as Americans would say, or swear words, as we say in the UK. Uh, but his pronunciation of whale is very interesting. Uh, whale, you know, the very big mammal that lives in the ocean. I would pronounce it whale. A lot of native speakers would say whale. But he says, w I, can't, I can't imitate it very well. There's a weird whale. Whale, he says. It's almost like one syllable. Whale instead of whale. You want to try to pull it in? Let's hook it. Oh, man, that thing's just dead. Who are you going to call? You got that on video still? Yeah, come on. Let's, let's pull up next to that, bro. Let's help it. 
Oh man, we're calling the Coast Guard. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so it's quite a fun accent. Um, you might notice in a lot of accents, something that changes a lot is vowel sounds, you know, the A, E, I, O, U sounds. So like when this guy says Coast Guard, and Coast Guard are the kind of people that, yeah, go and save people, like, yeah, the rescue team of the ocean. Um, he says like Coast, uh, Coast Guard instead of God. He says like God, Coast Guard. Um, yeah, I can't imitate his accent very well, but, um, yeah, very interesting, like, use of vowel sounds and things. So that's something that changes a lot in this Boston accent. Um, yes, I mean, a famous word for Boston people to say is the word Boston. They say, like, Boston instead of Boston. So, you know, the sounds of the vowels really changes. Okay, next up, we're going to go all the way over to Hawaii to hear a bit more, uh, diversity. Because Hawaii, like pretty much all of the USA, had native people before. Um, and like I said earlier, people's backgrounds really changes their accents. So if you're talking to an African American or a Latino American or an Italian American or, yeah, like I said, there's all these different backgrounds. And then if you're on the mainland of America and you have these Native Americans, um, they have like a particular accent. And then also in Hawaii, there were Native people and they have a particular kind of accent too. So let's take a look at what that sounds like. Oh, you know what? Dave, you go on boat, all right? John, you go on boat. Go on. Time you go to the on tree. You guys go this side. The same like the other day, I'm about three times, but when you're coming down spring sometimes, then lengthen out. Okay, so another interesting accent, and also another feature that you can hear in lots of other English accents um when he pronounces uh th sounds like like he said something like i can't remember what he said maybe the boat instead of saying like the boat he says like the the boat it becomes more like a d sound so when he was pronouncing different th sounds like they instead of saying they he's saying day day all on the boat or something um so that's something you hear in lots of different english accents actually Okay, next up we have another accent that's quite famous, that's the Chicago accent. Um, just a sh very short video, it's only 13 seconds, but I tried to find more videos like this that were real people actually, you know, in real situations because there's a lot of videos when you search for accents, a lot of videos are people kind of imitating accents or kind of trying to show you an accent and they're kind of exaggerating or like I said, they're just imitating, kind of copying the accent. So I tried to find more videos like this of people actually like, yeah, like for example, like this in a shop or something, but they're surprisingly hard to find. But for the Chicago accent, I could find one. So let's listen to this lady in the supermarket. You're welcome, honey. Thank you. What do you have? Eggplant rollatini today with Kirkland marinara sauce. So give it a try. Might be what's for dinner tonight. You yes. never know. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's a fun accent. Um, I didn't actually quite catch everything she said at the beginning. This has one of, been one of the most difficult to understand, but I think it's just because I don't know the names of the ingredients. She was listing some like ingredients at the beginning that were in the food, and I don't really know what she was talking about. And sometimes in America, they use different words for some vegetables and things like that that we don't use in the UK. I'll go back later and listen again, see if I can catch that one. Um, but yeah, everything else she said was okay. She said like, here we have this thing, she listed the ingredients, and then she said, um, yeah, maybe it's what's for dinner tonight. Maybe it is what's for dinner. So, like, maybe this is what you are going to want to have for dinner, she was saying. Um, but, yeah, her accent is, we would probably call this a little bit nasally, so a little bit in the nose. Of course, some people speak more with their nose, but also some accents speak a lot with the nose. So I know another famous accent in America is the Wisconsin accent. And uh, that's a state that's right next to the city of Chicago. So I think this accent is a little bit similar. To me, it sounds almost the same. Um, like I've heard a lot of people when they imitate the Wisconsin accent, um, they just say the name of Wisconsin. A bit like earlier I said with the Boston accent, a lot of people say Boston to imitate the Boston accent. With Wisconsin, people say like, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. So it's got this eh, this kind of nasal sound uh, like we just heard from this lady here from Chicago. So yeah, another interesting accent within America. And at least what she was saying at the beginning, so far that's been one of the more difficult ones for me to understand. But otherwise, everything else has been quite easy to understand. 
Um, so let's take a look at another accent, and this is really upping the challenge, this one. Next up, we have an Appalachian accent. So right at the beginning, we listen to an Alabama accent, which is a kind of southern kind of country accent. And Appalachia is a mountain range in America, very deep countryside. They have a quite a famous, uh, strong accent that's quite hard to understand. So let's see how I can do with this one. Talking about like that, like if you had some wood out in the yard, instead of saying carry it in the house, she'd say tote it in the house. And like if you had something that you wanted to uh, put in a paper bag, you put it in a paper poke, you know, instead of a paper bag. Well, the way people talk around here, I guess it'd be what more like you call hillbilly style or something, I guess. I don't know, just a mountain okay, talk. Okay, so this guy's explaining some Appalachian words. Because this video I searched Appalachian English and he's speaking with a Appalachian accent and he's explaining some kind of Appalachian slang. And he said, um, yeah, like he said, for example, instead of saying a paper bag, we used to call it a paper poke. Yeah, instead of saying carry it in the house, he said we say tote it in the house. Yeah, so he said around here it's hillbilly style. Hillbilly is a word that people use in the United States to talk about country people. Um, <clears throat> mo I think most country people, they don't mind this word. Some of them are even proud of it and they say, yeah, I'm a hillbilly. Uh, but some people don't like this word. So some people might get angry if you say this word. Um, but yeah, hillbilly, it means sort of people from the country. But for me, I don't find this accent too difficult to understand. I know some people, even some, um, you know, I'm British, you know, this American accent, no problem. But I know even some Americans can have trouble understanding these country accents. But I really like blues and folk music. And a lot of that music comes from the southern states. So for me, I'm actually quite used to hearing these kind of like more southern accents. They're quite familiar to me because of my interest in this music. But I imagine for a lot of you guys who are studying English, this could be a little bit challenging to understand. Okay, so we just looked at, I think that was seven accents. Um, like I said, there are so many more than that. It really depends on the state. It depends on people's social background. It depends on their ethnicity. It can also just dep depend on each individual's personality. So the way people speak can, be, can really vary. So I just want this to uh, show you that there's no such thing as a standard American accent. So when people sort of talk about this standard American accent, um, you know, that's the way people might speak on the news or that's the way uh, some yeah, TV presenters might speak. But if you actually go to America and you talk to normal everyday people, um, they probably won't sound like that. Everybody's gonna sound different, but it's something that makes language very interesting. Personally, I, I really love accents. I find everybody's accent interesting and charming. And same when I'm learning other languages. When I was studying French before, I always tried to listen to different French accents. Now I'm studying Japanese. I try to li listen to different Japanese uh, accents and dialects. Um, and it's something that should be considered as a bit of a challenge and just something interesting. Don't be too scared or put off by difficult accents. As your English improves, you'll start to find that you can hear a totally new accent and you'll find that it's easier to understand just because your English level is getting higher and higher. So yeah, don't be too scared by this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If it's your first time, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. Please comment below and let me know what you thought about these accents. Uh, let me know if there are any other accents that you think are interesting or if there's any other videos you'd like me to make similar to this if you want me to try and listen to some other uh, accents from different countries and things like that. So let me know and I'll see all of you guys back here next time.